Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day, and hello from Disney's Hollywood Studios. The game plan for today, I am meeting up with a friend, and I was gifted Disney Genie Plus. So again, I woke up early this morning, right when the park opened, and I've just been stacking lightning lanes for later on in the day. That way, I'm just able to knock out a lot more rides and the plan is I'm going to try to ride every attraction inside of Hollywood Studios besides the shows. I'm not going to do the shows today. We'll save that for a different video. But I have lightning lanes pretty much for everything other than Tower of Terror. But that's okay. We'll just wait and stand by later this evening. And I even made one for Rise of the Resistance. I paid for lightning lane for that. Now, in my last video from Animal Kingdom when I was stacking lightning lanes, I still received a few comments about how you stack lightning lanes. So just to be a little more clear and transparent, you wake up the morning of, you purchase Disney Genie Plus, and starting right when the park opens for the day, you make your first lightning lane for later on in the day. And then every two hours after that, you're able to make your new lightning lane for a different attraction. And again, you're making these lightning lanes for later on in the day. Once you enter the park, you just have lightning lanes right after each other. I think you're able to do a lot more by stacking. Now, the other way you can do this is wake up in the morning, purchase Disney Genie Plus, make your first lightning lane for early in the morning. As soon as you scan your magic band or your park ticket, to enter that first attraction, then you can go back to your app and make your next lightning lane. But I feel like I'm able to do a little bit more by stacking for later on in the day. Probably next week, I'll do a video on the other way to do it when you wake up in the morning and then as soon as you scan your lightning lane for the first attraction, you can make another one. I'm very excited. I hope you guys are. Oh, and there's a new coffee inside of Galaxy's Edge that I really need to try and it came over from Disneyland. So. Let's not waste any more time. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. All right, welcome to Disney's Hollywood Studios. I will say the weather today isn't crazy hot. Still hot, but we have a nice breeze. I like it. Just in time, my man. <laughs> Here comes Edna. Woody. And here comes Buzz Lightyear. I like his new look. Even Woody had a new look. Still haven't seen the new film, but I want that ride. I'm passing by Hollywood and Vine, and this is a restaurant. But the only new news that I have for you guys at this park is starting August 28th here at Hollywood and Vine, which is a character dining experience is going back to a full buffet right now it's offering a prefix menu but starting on august 28th the full buffet is returning which is exciting oh my goodness look at chip and dill they are setting up for a picnic here in the grass they have their acorns their blanket their basket that is absolutely adorable. Okay, our first return time brings us here to Star Tours. It's been a long time. Whoa, this thing is massive. Oh, it still works. This is such a classic Hollywood Studios ride. I don't think the air conditioning is working very well in here. It is hot. For your safety, remain seated throughout your flight with your restraints securely fastened. And please watch your children. All passengers, please prepare for immediate boarding. And here we go. Now just turn us around this instant before we get into trouble. I knew it! Oh, it's a little rough. I love this scene. Whoa. 
<laughs> we just got off Star Tours, I will say. That was probably the best ride I have ever had on Star Tours just because we had the perfect scenes. If you guys don't know, Star Tours, it's random. Every ride will be different, and I really think we got a good set that time. Next up, we're going to do Rise of the Resistance. I have a question, though. Muppets, that's a show, not an attraction, right, Andy? Yes. I think it's a show. What do you guys think? If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments, but... We're gonna skip Muppets for now. <laughs> On the way to Galaxy's Edge, there's Muppets right there. Disney has added another Pride Month photo op with Mickey balloons. All right, standby has a 125 minute wait right now, but luckily we do have a lightning lane ready to be used. Thank you for being here. Thank you guys for joining the right, Take care. Incoming transmission from right. Everyone assembled. Good. A covert resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a first order star destroyer. Stand clear. Dead doors on the way now. Here's Poe's ship with BB-8. He's ready to go. And away we go. And there's Galaxy's Edge. We're getting you to Picara. Black leader, we're picking up an unusual signal. Are you spotting anything? Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. Give me what do you got? Hmm? Right, two more incoming. Move by taking evasive action. Try to shake your blue. I'm trying. We lost blue five. Where are all those TIE fighters coming from? They're quick out there. Well, then, by whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order, Resistance Scum. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool standing back here and see the action in the back of the ship. Oh, the stormtroopers. Oh my goodness. This never gets old. It, it's good to see you again, too. I always get goosebumps walking through the hangar here with all of these stormtroopers, TIE fighter. I have this microphone for my camera. <laughs> the cast member walked by and said, what? You killed a pork? <laughs> Moment of the day right there. You chose the wrong side, and now you will pay. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. I feel like this room would be a lot more scarier and intense if that was Vader up there and not Kylo Ren. Those droids are programmed to return you to Bacteria. Hurry and don't get caught. Lieutenant Beck will guide you. Recruits, for your safety, stay seated with seatbelt securely fastened. Keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. What the? Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Turn right. <laughs> a probe droid. You're lucky it didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, those are the prisoners. Operation to touch and lock three. Prisoners not seen on level D. Fire. If everyone's fighting a blaster, now's a good time. The escape pods no more. a grave error. Give me a moment. You do and you'll end up stumbling into the officer's mess. Or some other mess. I'm almost done. The resistance will attempt to rescue the prisoners. They have neither the resources nor the courage to engage us. You underestimate their conviction. Raise the shields! Shields? 
I see no evidence. Now! Found the alarm! All personnel to their stations! Sir, the prisoners have escaped. How brave. But ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run. Stop now! The escape pods are just on the other side! Something's a little off. What do you mean you can't today. do it? Of course you can! <laughs> Would it help if I told you that deck won't be there anymore in about five minutes? Yes! Listen to your friend! Yes! I never doubted you! Just short of the electrical activity! You can fix it. <laughs> Try swapping the drive link. See? I knew you could do it. There's no escape. You will tell me the location of the secret base. And then I will destroy you and the resistance. <laughs> outside the wreck. Okay, your door's stuck. Why is that always a thing? Whoa, whoa, slow down. Oh, okay, I'm still learning droid. Droid is, droid is. Look, I know you'll figure out how to get the pot open. How's that door situation? There, see? I told you it wouldn't be a problem. I need eyes on Beck. We're tracking Beck's pod at the wreckage, sir. It's... Wreckage? I've got a bad feeling about this. I should hope so. Great job, recruits. Thanks to your heroism, the location of the Resistance base is secure. Bravo! <laughs> Yes, R5, you too. <laughs> well, that was a interesting ride on Rise of the Resistance. It was still really fun. Now that Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind is open, now you have this two fantastic, outstanding e-ticket attractions here at Walt Disney World. But I did count five stops or five pauses. We had a pretty long one at the end. I think somebody got hurt at the end. I don't know, but yeah. We got it done. Okay, I am here to finally try the Black Calf Cold Brew Coffee. I'm excited to try this. There's so much hype around this drink. You can get it with or without alcohol. Here it is, the Cold Brew Black Calf for $5.49. Joffrey's Coffee Cold Brew topped with sweet cream cheese and chocolate puffs. You can also get the Spiked Cold Brew Black Calf for $14. Excuse my language here, but my god, a bottle of water, $4.25 for a bottle of water. And then look at the sodas, $5.49. I just feel like these keep going up in price. I will say, if you want ice cold water, just go to Starbucks, it's free. I guess you are paying an extra dollar for the Star Wars Dasani water bottle. They are making fresh outpost popcorn mix you know, I've never had this. Is it good? It smells good. Yum, look at this. There's Cocoa Puffs on the top. It's a pretty good size. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers. Okay. Just tastes like normal Joffrey's coffee. I do like the Cocoa Puffs. I got one in my first sip. Not really getting a lot of that sweet cream in there. Maybe if I mix it up a little bit more. I mean, it's good. I don't really understand all of the hype behind it. I'll probably get a lot of heat for this statement, but it's gonna be a bold statement. Just go to Starbucks. 
just go to Starbucks. But if you are a Star Wars fan, get this at least one time. I don't think I'll be getting it again. Maybe the spiked black calf would taste a little bit better, but I was not in the mood for alcohol today just because we're doing a lot today. Look who it is. Chewie, you're my hero. The man, the myth, the legend right here. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you for saving the galaxy. <laughs> it was right too. <laughs> this is a sight that will never get old. But next up, let's go have a ride on the Millennium Falcon. Smugglers Run. Oh yes, this makes for a fantastic photo. You will be intercepting a first order trade shipment of coaxia. Gunners, you play the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you harpoon that precious cargo. Move on, my friends. See you in the cockpit. We are the gunners, so we basically do absolutely nothing. We're just along for the ride. Flight engineer, repair this. Hit your flashing buttons. Pull back on the stick to fly out and push forward to fly out. Oh boy, we're in trouble. <laughs> We made it out alive. We owe Hondo a little bit of money. That's kind of gross. Kind of looks like I'm in the upside down in Stranger Things. I'm not really sure if it's just me or not, but I haven't rode this attraction in a long time. Maybe in like a year. I don't really do this when I'm here. That ride got rough, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Andy agrees. I don't know if it was because we're in the back and the seats that are hard. I know in the, yeah. if you're a pilot, you have cushion seats. Back in the back, it's like hard chairs. Oh boy, just be prepared. I wonder, is this apartment for rent up here? I would so stay there. Who else would stay there? Am I the only one? Well, I just almost got ran over by a ECV. Sometimes some of these ECV drivers, I feel like Disney needs to make them take a driver's ed course before they allow them to get on the ECV but we just got done with Galaxy's Edge we are now making our way inside Toy Story Land we're just kind of making a big circle around the park and knocking out all the rides you having a good time oh yeah yeah definitely next up alien swirling saucers hello there we'll take this one. Oh, please don't make me throw up it's been so long since I've ridden this Whoa! we're picking up speed here <laughs> If you are a tall person, I would avoid this ride at all costs. The claw. I had to uh, quickly brace myself for impact. Jeez. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this ride all day. Next up, Slinky Dog Dash. Standby has a 105 minute wait, so this lightning lane is coming in very handy today. Hello. Thank you. You got it. Have fun. We're off.
something's wrong. There it is. Here we go. I was able to score a very last minute lightning lane for Toy Story Mania. And that's the thing about using Disney Genie Plus is, yeah, you have to be on your phone pretty much all day long. And it sucks because you don't really get to enjoy everything because you're always looking down at your phone. But you just have to pound the app. You have to keep refreshing because just like this, it could pop up randomly. I forgot how fun this queue line is. I never knew this, but there's a giant Monopoly board on the roof here and then monopoly money right there all right here we go i gotta get my arm ready for this shooting because it is a workout let me tell you this is uh a little difficult to do with one hand i need to put the camera down and he beat me it looks like because disney is currently doing some remodeling here we get to exit through this way which is the old backlot area that's left. It's been a long time since I've been back here. Check it out. More of the backlot. It's still here, a little bit of it. I think the reason behind all of the construction as you're exiting Toy Story Mania is they are building a new gift shop at the exit. I believe Jesse's gift shop. I think that's the reason why. As we are exiting Toy Story Land, I'm passing by the barbecue restaurant. I still have no new updates or an opening date. I feel like Epic Universe will open before this restaurant in Tron. And this restaurant is going to be called Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. Here's a different angle. I'm not noticing anything. Right now inside Walt Disney Presents, you can meet Sully and you can have a sneak peek of Lightyear, which I still haven't seen yet. I'm now passing through this area. You have the Disney Junior meet and greets here. You have the Disney Junior dance party, Star Wars launch bay, and then Voyage of the Little Mermaid. Nothing's open. I think this is never going to open. Last time I heard they were battling a few water leaks. I don't know why Launch Bay is not open with the characters, have no idea. The dance party is open and the meet and greets are open during the day. But other than that, Disney, just knock everything down and build a new attraction here or expand Galaxy's Edge Indoor Toy Story Land. Next up, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Look at this, it says it is a 20 minute wait, but there's really no line at all, which is a good thing. We have about two more hours left until park close. I started today's adventure around 2 p.m. We were in line for 11 minutes and we have already made it up until this point. Not bad at all. I could not find a lightning lane for this attraction. So it's really nice to hit it at the right time and don't really have a long wait. Do you guys see the hidden Mickey right there? Very clever. Uh oh. Yeah. Excuse me, you later. Do you plan helping these good people into the cartoon while they fix this here Loki motive? Be back in a jiffy to pick you all up. Can you all hear me? Way back in the back. Welcome aboard, folks. 
already growing relaxing right around the floor. I like this guy, the squid. He's my favorite. Yeah. There's Pluto. I will say, every time I ride this ride, I always think of the great movie ride. I miss that attraction so much. Hello, Mr. Walt Disney. You're missed. Always a fun time riding Runaway Railway. I'm very surprised on the weather today. Like, it really hasn't been hot at all. And as we're getting deeper into the nighttime, we're getting this really nice cold breeze. It's fantastic. But we only have two more attractions to complete our challenge, which is Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster. I think we are just going to hop in line for Tower of Terror. Still haven't heard anything regarding Fantasmic. It's open back over at Disneyland, but not here. I don't know the reason why, but hopefully soon, because Fantasmic is really missed. Oh dear. I am uh, second guessing myself now. This is such a long wait. But look at this view, how pretty with the sunset. Here's food for thought. Disney, make this into a hotel. People would pay top dollar. I'd rather use my money to stay at a Tower of Terror themed hotel than the Star Cruiser, to be honest with you. What a great idea that would be. Here's to hoping. As of this recording, which is the middle of June 2022, Disney only has one side open because they are doing some work on the other side, so that will cause the line to get pretty long, as we know today. That was such a great ride on the Tower of Terror. We had some great drops and a lot of airtime. This was actually the second lightning lane that I made this morning. So I think it really comes in handy when you stack lightning lanes other than just tapping and then trying to make your next lightning lane. I don't know, I wanna do a video on the other way how to use Disney Genie Plus. So stay tuned for that in the coming weeks. I love the cable hidden Mickey right there. Bye bye. All right, this is the last ride of the Hollywood Studios Challenge today. We did it. It was a, a little challenging at the end with Tower of Terror, but we did it right before park close.
We did it. We made it. The Hollywood Studios ride challenge is now complete. I will say, this line was, other than Tower of Terror, this was the longest line and we had Lightning Lane. I think, this is just what I heard, somebody threw up on the ride so that delayed a lot, but success. Something else that I really appreciate during the summertime when you're enjoying a theme park is it's just about 9 p.m. which is when the park closes for the day. The sun is still out. Like the day feels a little bit longer because the sun is out for pretty much the entire day. So you still have plenty of time for activities. Like if I was a guest right now, I would probably either park hop or go to Disney Springs just because like the sun is still up. You still have plenty oh, yeah. of time. Check out these new Lightyear Minnie Mouse ears. They have this Bo-Katan helmet here and Boba's helmet. That's cool. I like this Spider-Man corksicle. $50 though, holy cow. And this Spider-Man t-shirt. What a fun, long, exhausting day this was. I love when I do challenges here at Walt Disney World. They're a lot of fun. They're a good time. But now I am going to head out and start making my way back to the car. All right, my friends, that's going to do it for today's video. Once again, I just had a super fun day here at Hollywood Studios doing this challenge using Disney Genie Plus. And then I paid for the individual lightning lane for Rise of the Resistance. You know, everything really just worked out today. Just like in my other video over at Disney's Animal Kingdom, everything just worked out. And I'm not the biggest fan of Disney Genie Plus, but there are times where it does come in handy. And unfortunately, that's just what it is now. I don't agree with, you know, paying $15 per day per person, but it's just the way Disney is right now. We don't have those free fast passes, but when you really work Disney Genie Plus, you can really get some good benefits out of it. Like today, I was able to ride every single attraction here inside of this park. I did not do the shows. Maybe we'll save that for a different challenge in the future. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up because it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you all in YouTube. I will see you in the next video. Prince Charming. I ain't feeling lonely And I wanna make it start to end the right Fading it too slowly Over those gonna lift me up this time you were the only one who got me tripping up inside All the words you told me